Hey guys, today I want to show you a horizontal wrap. So it's perfect for wrapping either a donut crystal or that first little piece I just showed you is made from polymer clay. We're going to wrap this donut crystal. So this is rose quartz crystal and it's four centimeters wide and half a centimeter deep. So to wrap on about this size, we just start with about 50 inches of one millimeter thick waxed twine. So I just start by finding about 20 inches on one side. So that's just enough for that half of the necklace to go around. And so then with the other end, which is the longer end, that's the end that we're going to do our wrapping with. To start with, I just tie a little simple knot, which is a basic one, left over right, and then right over left. So that just makes a square knot. So I just start the end of my wrap just like that, pulling it nice and tight. And then we just make sure that we're going to be using that longer one to do our wrapping. So we start by just poking that end down the donut hole and then we go up the loop that we've created. Just pulling that nice and tight, it makes a bit of a half knot and that sits on the top of the donut or on the top of the horizontal piece that you're wrapping. So we just keep doing that same wrap. Cross, which is just poking it down the donut hole and then going up the back of the loop and pulling it tight. So it's quite a simple wrap this one. Down the hole and then up back up the loop. So you just work your way across the crystal or across the piece that you're wrapping and that makes these little knots at the top. So you just make sure that that's sitting on the top of the crystal and you just keep going across for however long you want to really. Sometimes with a little hole in the middle, it can get a little bit tight with the twine down there. So depending on how that sits, how far across you go. So you can sort of see it's moving its way over the crystal there. So it's sort of up to you to decide however far across you want to go. So I'm, I'm pretty much there now, I'm happy with that. And you can sort of move your twine around a little bit so that it's sitting nice and evenly. But just make sure that it's pulled nice and tight because you don't want your crystal to have any movement there. And when you're happy with how far across you've gone, I'm just going to pull one little loop up and then just tie my knot on this side as well. So I put that under and then through its own hole. So then I just have to pull that nice and tight. So then you've got a nice strong knot on each side and it should look similar on the front and the back. So there we have it. So now I'm just going to do our adjustable knots. So we'll just lay the pendant down on the table. I will just pull them up and make sure that they're the same length. So to just do our adjustable knots, we just start by laying it down on the table and crossing the lengths over. Then we just grab, grab the necklace in our left hand and with our right hand, pull that tail down and out the back and create one little loop. And then do the same again, so down and out the back. There's another loop and then we just poke that little tail down through both the loops and pull it nice and tight. Then just swapping the necklace over to the other side so we can do the same again, holding it in your left hand, poking that tail down and around the back. One loop and then down and around the back. And then you can just poke that little tail down through both your loops and pull it nice and tight. And those will be your adjustable knots. So then you can sort of pull your necklace up to how high you want it. So I just cut those little tails off as well and then singe them with the lighter. There's your horizontal or donut shaped necklace pendant.